اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول کریم نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم خاتم الانبیاء والمرسلین رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل لقتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی My very dear and respectable Quran course fellows Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I welcome you all in this Understand Al-Quran, the Easy Way course 2 and I congratulate you for reaching Alhamdulillah page 3 and today we will start page 3 pointer A and we have already covered Alhamdulillah the first two pages. Generally we know these five pages have the you know the contents of the five pages or subject is muttaqeen kafirin munafiqeen invitation of quran and the challenge of quran uh, of course and then the story of the uh, first prophet of allah we have covered the first two pages and who would like to come forward to practice the pointers for the first two pages which we have already learned alhamdulillah and by this time i believe that <clears throat> we have uh, clarity on so sister kafir is going to uh, practice the pointers for the day one yes sister mm. the first one the first page praise for Muttaki. the second one no guidance for kafiru no guidance for Muttaki. corrupt and fools double faith Excellent. So, very good. Who else would like to come forward? This was sister. Okay. Now, brother Kamran. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So, praise for Allah. Dua for guidance. Guidance for muttaqeen. Attributes of muttaqeen. Excellent. For the second, is no guidance for kafirin, no guidance for munafikin, corrupt and fool, and double-faced. Wonderful. Now, so these were the, you know, the actions for the first two days. Now let's look at the third page. And on this page, inshallah, we are going to look at the first example of munafikin as fire, second example as rain. So example of fire, example of rain, then Quran's call. What does Quran invites for? And Quran's challenge. So these are the four, inshallah. So example of fire, example of rain, Quran's call, Quran's challenge. The four indicators, inshallah, will be done. So let me have somebody for practice session here. Yeah. Okay, brother Kamran, you could do it. Uh, fire, second example is rain, Quran's call, and Quran's challenge. Yeah. Now, here onwards, brothers and sisters, I would like you to especially focus on the pointers because, uh, you know, the now the vocabulary would become a little dif dif difficult and different also because usually we are aware of the first two pages vocabulary, the subject is easy, and we could do it easily. But the actual importance of pointers will become very important from here onwards. If we are saying fire, you will see the word nara, the Arabic word in the text from where the word fire has come. And that will help you to understand the entire subject. Similarly, sayyab, the word for rain will come in that pointer. So this is how, inshallah, pointers will start helping us uh, greatly from this uh, point onwards. So. Uh, fire, rain, call, and challenge. Fire, rain, call, and challenge. So example of fire, example of rain, uh, Quran's call, and Quran's challenge. These are the four pointers for our third page. So let's look at the first um, example of munafikin, which is the fire, or you could simply call it example of fire. So, so munafikin, what are they doing? Now it's being elaborated further. So inshallah, we will cover this uh, uh, this uh, pointer today. So masalahum kama salil lazis tau kada nara. See the word nara is here right in the first line. That's what the fire is. Now with the previous verses, 
in the previous verses allah talked about munafiqeen and their attributes so that we could be aware of them and we could see what is the you know what do munafiqeen do which we should not be doing so now the example of munafiqeen is being given to further elaborate it what you know every ayah of quran has a lesson for us and the lesson we learn from this ayah is number 1 you know there is example of fire and resulting light when munafiqeen saw the light of islam but they did not accept it meaning by a munafiq person would not accept the truth allah took away their light so when somebody is not receiving is not ready to receive hidayah then allah takes the sight away sight means here you know their senses their 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 uh, wisdom a, a deaf dumb and blind person won't come back to the truth so allah makes them what summum bukmun umyun now they will not be uh, no it's it's actually not their physical disability but ultimately this also focuses on what their wisdom they, it will all be taken away and they will never be able to come back to the uh, the truth so uh, you know now if you look at this text uh, in the previous uh, lines you would find two to three new words but this text has more new words for example uh, the, the second line has five new words the third line has five new words so you just need to give a little uh, attention to it although many of them you already know and once we will break them down and we will look at the meanings in shall it will be easy but they are new words so i i would i would request you to uh, uh, you know pay a special attention to it okay so let's begin with the way we do it uh, you while i would recite it <clears throat> you are requested to look at every word then i'll ask you a few questions and then inshallah we will move forward a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem masaluhum kama salil ladhi istawqada nara falamma adaat ma hawlahu zahaba allahu bi nurihim wa tarakahum fi zulumatil la yubsirun summum bukmun umyun fahum la yarjun okay who would like to break down and let me know how many parts of the very first word masaluhum two wonderful and what two parts masalu and hum very good it's masal and hum so masal is the example and hum of there now interesting thing is the next word next word how many parts the next word two two the and masal okay the ka is what do you remember the ka what is ka is it a is it ka like you or something else as 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 mashallah it's not that ka which is which is part of the zamair or possessive case but it is ka which comes in the beginning of the words as okay so masal hum ka masal so you are able to break it down into ka and masal allazi we all know the meanings of allazi <coughs> what is the word you want allah is allazi is singular you know but allazina is the plural yes. all those two now the next word is new word for us istawqada nara i am sure everybody knows the meaning of nara what does it mean fire fire, fire right and is tawqada is the new word now what do we do with the fire by the way what is done fire fire is you know burning we we lit fire we kill you know light the mission the mic is secret the mic muted i think someone has <coughs> okay <coughs> so is tawqada nara so this is how we will try to make meanings out of it you know fire has to be kindled it has to be lit and then is falamma fa lamma adaat 
Now, if I ask you the next word, even if you don't know the meanings, at, what do you think? Is it a, first of all, let me know, it is an ism, feel or harf? Feel, it's feel. Perfect. Now, it is a fail, but which is it a mad? Mad. Mad. Could, could you tell me the gender? What does it look like? Feminine. It is? A person, singular male, female. Feminine. Yeah, it's a feminine gender. Excellent. So, at. Okay. She lets uh, all right. So ma hawlahu ma. We all know the meanings of ma. Okay, somebody is telling me there's lots of background noise. May I request others to please? I think the mics have to be muted. Let me go forward, and you can respond me in the chat box, right? By the way, I hope this the sound and picture and uh, screen is clear. Uh, let me know in the chat box if that's going good. Okay, right. Thank you, brother. So, ma hawlahu, ma, you know the meanings of it. Hawlahu, whatever is around us. Hawlahu, around who? Who is, you know, a part of it? Haul, who? So, him. So, then comes, zahab Allahu binurihim. Now, the, the verb zahaba and then Allahu, zahab Allahu binurihim. What is the subject in it? Who is the Allah. subject? Allah. Allah. Excellent. Uh, that's perfect. So can you break down the word binurihim? How many parts? Three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Yes. So what is part one in it? B. B. Uh, what is B? In. It is in. Okay. And we will consider it Zahaba B. Okay. Which will which will make a new meaning of Zahaba. And inshallah we'll study that. And Noor and him. Okay. What are Kahum? How many parts? Three. Three parts. hum. And we know tarak means is to let something go you know, uh, stop using it, uh, etc. Fi zulumatilla yubsirunt. I think you would know the meanings of zulama, zula, zulumat. Its singular is zulama. It is darkness. Okay. La yubsirun. What is the meaning of la? No. 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 Very good. And yubsirun. How is it like? What is its 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 uh, construction like? Plural mudare. Plural mudare. And <laughs> you related for the meanings? What word we already know? Basar. Excellent. <laughs> Mashallah. We know basar, absar, and yubsirun. So they see, but la yubsirun, they do not see. They will not see. They will not be actually able to uh, uh, you know, find way. So, summum bukmanumyun, these are the three very interesting words. They're easy to remember if you just once, uh, you know, summum is from samya, cannot listen, cannot listen, summum. Bukmun, cannot speak. Umyun, cannot see, right? So, we know the one who cannot listen. What word do we use in English for them? F one. Yeah. F. yeah, and the one who cannot Dumb. speak. Dumb. 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 And and the one cannot see. Fine. So summum bukmun omyun fahum fahum la yarjiun. What is the meaning of yarjiun? There is a very common expression we say in the lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Return. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Masha. So you see, we know of it already. So we can find out the meanings. Okay. Now let's move forward and look at the word for word and phrase for phrase. 
uh, translation of this ayah. <coughs> so, mashaluhum. So, mashaluhum is two parts. Their example. So, they are like, their example is of what? Ka masali. Ka masali. Ka is like, as. As the example of one. Again, the word masal is there. So, like the example of the one, allazi, of the one. So, their example, Munafkin's example is like the example of a person, istaukada nara. Istaukada nara. You know the word istaukada? In English, there is a word sounding, you know, almost same. Can somebody get me that word, by the way? What comes to your mind? Stove. You know? So, isn't it interesting? Istaukada, stove. What is stove, by the way? For cooking. What place or the... What, yeah. what is for cooking? So, here you can make the meanings of his istaukada nara, kindled a fire. You know, lit a fire. So, the example of these bunafakin is the example of one who has kindled a fire. Okay? Now, this is how the subject begins. Very interesting subject. Then what happens? When the fire is kindled, what happens, by the way? Tell me, what happens? You know, there's a light. Illumination. Illumination. It illuminated. It created light. Okay? So, it created light. So, it illuminated the entire uh, you know, space around it. That's a very common phenomenon. When you lit fire, the fire would, you know, create light. And usually in a circular form, you know, the light will be generated around the fire. So, what was around him? And by the way, what does him mean here? Anyone? Him cannot be fire. Remember, the fire is feminine. So we are using ada'at for nara. So it's it is the person who has lit the fire. Okay. You understand now? So then when it illuminated what was around him, um, meaning by you know, this fire has created light for him. So now one, one gets very happy, you know, when there is light, there is, you, you, you find it nice that there is light in darkness. But what happened next? Zahaballahu binurihim. Zahaballahu binurihim. Zahaba means he went. The actual meanings of Zahaba, Zahaba is a fail. It means he went. But when it is used with the harfajar B, it changes the meaning. Do you remember we have we have learned this rule? What was the rule we learned in uh, rules of preposition? Because of the change the meaning. Change. Yeah, the change of the meaning changes. How you use by other words? Excellent. The meaning changes. Perfect. Yeah. So the actual meaning of Zahaba was he went, but when the harfajar B comes with it, it becomes he took it away. He went with, you know, he took whatever. So he took away. Who took away? Zahaballahu. Allah is also mentioned there. So Allah took away. Binuri him. Binuri him. So Allah took away what? Their light, their nur. Allah took it away. Zahaballahu binuri him. So, وَتَرَكَهُمْ And then they were left. وَتَرَكَهُمْ And they were left with what? فِي ظُلُمَاتِ لَا يُبْسِرُونَ In darkness. وَتَرَكَهُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ ظُلُمَاتِ لَا يُبْسِرُونَ They were left in the darkness. لَا يُبْسِرُونَ They could not see. They are unable to see. لَا يُبْسِرُونَ You all, mashallah, you have already said, you know, it is from Basar Absar يُبْسِرُونَ so from Basara, Yubsirun, so they could not see, right? 
Okay. Now, what is this example all about? This example can be understood. You know, one way of understanding it could be when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he brought the light of guidance and, you know, of uh, oneness of Allah, good people accepted it. Munafkeen chose the other way around. They did not accept it because of their wrong desires. And as you know about Munafkeens already, so what Allah did was, was Allah therefore took their sight away from them and left them in the darkness of misguidance. La yubsirun. They will not be able to find guidance. So yubsirun here is actually not the physical seeing, but the, the wisdom to be able to see the truth and guidance. So it was taken away. Your time now. Take a minute. Say out the words yourself. Especially look at the phrases. Istamka danara. It will make it easy for you to remember the meanings. Falam adaat. And when then when then when it was illuminated. So what was illuminated? The fire illuminated. And then you know, mahalahu. Whatever was around him, how lahu. So remember, how is a word, my separate, how and who. Whatever was around him. Zahaballahu binurihim. So Allah took their light away. Watarakahum fi zulumatilla yupsirun. Yes, Amani Makasi, do you have a question or something to say? Yes, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, first here is ma haulahu. What was around him? But when Allah he speaks of removing the li the light, he say, "Binuri him," referring to many. Well, here, ma haulahu, there seems it's only one person that is being referred to. What 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 was around him? Could you please explain here, please? Very good question. Now remember. The, this is the style, the, you know, the eloquence of the language that, you know, it, it is the entire subject is about Munafakin as a group of people. But the example is given in this way. So what happens with one person will happen with all of them. Okay. okay? So, yes. you know, if one person doesn't accept it, it means their entire group is not going to accept it. So, Zahballahu bin Urihim. Allah has taken their nur away from all of them, their light, okay. and left them in the darkness so they do not see. Okay? Okay. So, the new word, Istau Kadanara, A, B, C, D. Which one is the right answer? Remember, we the word. now we are, you know, you see it here now. The same, my brother, the way brother asked this question, this uh, connotates to both because the word Allazi was used in that sense, it is like he kindled. And, you know, since it generalizes to the entire group of Munafikin, so they kindled a fire. Summum, book monomion faham la yarjaun. So, who are the summums? Please say everybody, say it out loud so that you could remember the meaning. Yes. Deaf. By the way, what are these three words? Summum, book monomion. Yes, we fail or something. Yeah, it's very clear. We know it, Alhamdulillah. Very easy. So, summum, you could remember it from by, you know, relating it to Samia not being able to listen. So, summum, deaf. Bukmum, dumb. They cannot speak. Omyun, blind. Fahum, so they, la yifyum. So, when, you know, when they are unable to listen, speak and see the truth, hidayah. So they will not get a chance to return. They do not hear the truth. They don't see the truth. They don't say it out. 
So these are the hardcore munafikeen. They're not going to, there is no hope of them returning back. So Allah has used the word summum, sum, sum sound. You know, you can also relate it to the sound, no sound, summum. Okay. Uh, and then deaf and then dumb. A person who is unable to listen and speak and see. So these are the three words used here. Uh, maybe for a couple of days, you could just say it out a number of times to people around you. You know, one should not be, just talk to your fellow Muslims and say, one should not be summum, bukmun, and umyun. And then the person might ask you, what does it mean? And you'll tell them, summum is the one who is not listening, bukmun, the one who cannot speak, umyun, the one who cannot see. So these are the munafikeen, so we should not act like them. And inshallah, this will help you to remember the meanings of words. Okay, so let's repeat it once again. Translate. Sum. Let's see who tells the first of all. A, B, C, D. Yeah. Brother, brother, sister Nalutaya, brother Faisal. They have responded, brother Augustine. And okay, what about others? What are they thinking about? Yeah, brother Professor Ibrahim, sister Kafaya. Deaf. Okay. Bukmun. Hurry up. Let's see who answers first. Um, Bukmun. Wow. Everybody's going good. Bukmun. You know the one who cannot? So what do we use for them? Dumb. C. Dumb. Deaf. Dumb. Okay. And omion, which is for blindness. Blind. All right. Okay, so Munafkins are what? A, B, C, D. What is the answer of this question? A, B, C, D. Yeah, A, B, C. They are deaf, they are dumb, they are blind. Okay. And that's why it is mentioned select more than one. Very good. Let's move forward. So we learn a lesson from this. You know, Munafkin saw the light of Islam but did not accept it. And as a result, Allah took away their light, their sight, their wisdom. So, you know, a deaf, dumb, and blind person won't come back to the truth. So, what should we pray to Allah? The Prophet of Allah, you know, has given us beautiful supplication and invocations to say out. So, we should pray to Allah, O oh Allah. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa warzuk nattibah. O Allah, Allahumma, O oh Allah, arina al-haqqa. Show us the truth. Haqqan, the way it is, as truth. That we should not, you know, be confused about it. Warzuk nattibah. And give us the ability to follow it. Warzuk na. And give us the ability. Ittaba'ah. To follow it. And give us the, you know, arena and show us battle, battle falsehood, battle as falsehood that we should not consider it as, you know, haq. No, we should not be mixing it up. So, so that and give us the ability to avoid it. So it's a, it's a beautiful supplication, beautiful words. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa rzuqna tibaa wa arina al-batila batila wa rzuqna tinaaba. Okay. So according to, in the light of this, uh, you know, dua, what should we plan? We should evaluate ourselves. Do we get mixed up with these things? No. When it comes about the Quranic injunctions, we should have clarity. It is haqq, no matter what. And something wrong is wrong, no matter what. No explanations on it. And we should plan that we use our ears, our tongue, our eyes to hear, say, and see the truth. And we should not close them for the truth, no matter how bitter and difficult it will be for us. You know, as time, if somebody tells you you are telling a lie, you don't accept it because it comes direct attack on you, although you were telling a lie, you know. So may Allah help us to to remain on the 
right path. So let's look at the asma of all of these verses. The first, um, you know, the noun or the ism is muscle. And it's plural is amsal, like amal. You remember we did the, we made the plural of amal, amal, so muscle, amsal, and then noor on the same pattern, anwar, okay? Light and many lights, anwar. Muscle is example, amsal, many examples. And the zulma, zulma. By the way, which gender is the zulma? And that's why it's it's plural has been formed as zulm, zulumat with alifta. Okay, dark and extreme darknesses. So with these asma, let's look at the afal. So zahaba, as I told you, its original meaning is, please remember, whenever we will say zahaba, we will translate and say the original meaning, which is he went. Okay, but in this uh, words. It has been used as Zahababi. So Zahababi means he took it away. He went with, you know, taking something. So Zahaba, yes, have you, it is on the pattern of Fataha. Who will do it, please? Raise hand. Mashallah, you all now know the styles of Fataha, Nasar, Adara, Basamiya. So you can easily do their short tables. So please come forward and do the short tables yourself. So Today, all leads will be taken by Brother Kamran. Yes, Brother Kamran, Zahaba. Short table of Zahaba. Uh, Zahaba, Yazhabu, Izhab, Zahib, Dash, Dash, and Zahab. Very good. Now you see somebody who goes, he went, so it he himself went, so there is no maf'ul, okay? Zahib, he went, the one who goes. So next is Taraka on the on the pattern of Nasara, Sister Asya. Taraka, Yatruku, Utruk, Tarik, Matruk, Tarik. Excellent. So what does it mean, Taraka? Left. He avoids. He left, he, you know, uh, sort of something which we stopped using in that way. Okay. So they were left into the darkness. So next is Yarjiun was from Raja Yarjiu on the pattern of Daraba, Sister Kafaya. Raja Yarjiu, Yarjiu, Raja. Marjo Ruju and Raja both. Ruju Raja means he returned. Okay. So Raja. Excellent, mashallah. Very well done, brothers and sisters. So with this, we come to the uh, end of the Quranic part, and you are being reminded about your homework and your workbook. So if there are any quick questions, you're most welcome to ask. Then we will move forward to the uh, the grammar part. Yes, Brother Augustine, any question? All right, so let's begin with the grammar. And today there is something very interesting. And uh, yes, Brother Augustine. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. No issue. So in grammar, we are going to learn a new uh, verb, which is Amara. So Amara is uh, in Quran almost 200 times. And, uh, but by the way, if I ask you, uh, do you see any weak, uh, you know, weak letter in it? Yes. Yeah. Do you see weak letter in it? Hamza. No, we didn't say Hamza is a weak letter. Did we see? 
Alif. No. Alif is a no. weak letter, but there is no Alif in it. It is Hamza. No. Okay. So that, that's that's something interesting. We have to differentiate between Alif and Hamza. So that's why I am beginning the lesson with this question with all of you, so that you are sensitive. And you remember to differentiate between Alif and Hamza. Because it the Hamza, that's why pronunciation is like Alif. That's why it could be weak. Sorry, brother. The pronunciation over here is like Alif, so it could be weak, acting as a weak uh, letter. No, brother. The pronunciation is A, which is Hamza. Okay, Alif actually does not have a sound in that way, but A Amara is Hamza. And Hamza is not a weak letter. However, however, this is interesting that you know when we showed you the weak letters, where was Hamza at that time? In the where center of triangle. Yeah, it is in the center, which means Hamza has some tendency of acting like, as you said, beautifully said, that you know it has a tendency of acting like weak letters. Okay, so that's why, but we, will, we do not call it weak letter and that's why we will call it a different category and we will call it the verbs of Hamza. Okay, so that, you know, we could, we could uh, 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 we could learn what changes actually happen with Hamza. There are not many changes, there are very few. So we will take this verb with Hamza in it. And we will see, inshallah, Hamza behaves like a weak letter some, sometimes, remember. So, and we will see it, inshallah, here. But it is not a weak letter. You have to remember it. So, we will always call it the verbs of Hamza letter. Okay? Or the verbs with Hamza as a letter. So, because it is different. It's exceptional. It's not like letters. So, Amara. Amara means he ordered... He enjoined, he commanded, in that means it is used, Amara. Okay? From Amara, the Mazi pattern would be Amara, he ordered, Amaru, they ordered. Amarta, you ordered, Amartu, I ordered, Amartum, you all ordered, Amarna, we ordered, and you could also call it Amarat, she ordered. Yes, brother Saidu. He ordered. Amaru, they ordered. Amarta, I ordered. Amarta, you ordered. Amartu, I ordered. Amartu, you all ordered. Amaruna, we ordered. Amarat, she ordered. Excellent, brother. Very well done. Yes, next. Yes, sister, go fire. Okay. Amaro, he ordered. Amaru, they ordered. Amarot, you ordered. Amar, Amaru, too? Uh, yes, I sister. ordered. Am it's Am Amarta, Amarta. You Amarta. Ordered. Amarta. Yeah. Amarta, you ordered. Amaru, too? I ordered. Amarutum, you all ordered. Amaruna, we ordered. Iya Amarot, she ordered. Excellent, very good. And uh, uh, that's that's the the Mazi form. And now we will see to it the what happens in the Mudare form. And brother, so there was this brother Allah. Abdullah, brother, would you like to do this Arabic conversation before before I come to the brother Alalikan Umar? Would you like to do this Arabic conversation with me? You had raised hand for. Hal Amara. Hal Amara. Nam, Hamara. Hal Amar. Hamaru. Please respond to my questions. Hal Amaru. 
نعم امار هل امرت نعم امار امرت هل امرتم نعم امرتم اوكي نعم امرنا اول رايت سو Now the next is, Hal Amartum Bil Maruf. Who would like to answer it? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Hal Amartum Bil Maruf. So, Maruf is what? Is the good deeds, doing good, something, you know? So, definitely we would like to say, Naam. For Amartum, Amarna. And Bil Maruf. So, yeah, as uh, our sister said, C is the right answer. Okay? Okay. Amartumullah. Amartumullah. So, this is Amartumullah. Amartumullah. A, B, C, D. Which one is right? A. A. Give a give a careful answer. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, when you write in the chat box, it becomes easy, I think, for you also to reflect and for me also to see where do we stand. It was Amara Kumullahu. So now you know the Amara and then Kum and Allah, and it will become Allah ordered you all. Amara Allahu Allah became subject. Amara Allah ordered Kum you all. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, let's now see the Mudare form. And the change, the little change comes in Mudare first. So from Amara, we made Ya'muru on the pattern of, which pattern does it look like according to the, the, the four Fataha Daraba? Nasara. Nasara, excellent. Very good. So Amara, uh, it is like Nasara Yansuru. So Amara, Ya'muru. Ya'muru, he orders. Ya'muruna, they order. Ta'muru, you order. But the next one should be, what should be the next one? According to the pattern, it looks like A'amara. No. A -amara. No. We will call it, the change comes here now. When two Hamzas join, the second Hamza becomes a mud. So we will call it A'muru. A'muru. Okay? So remember this change. A'muru. Ya'muru, Ya'muruna, Ta'muru, A'muru. And the next will be again on the same pattern. Ta'muruna, you all order. Namuru, we order. So, okay. Yes, Brother Augustine. Which one? Mudare form. Ya'muru. He orders. Ya'muruna. The order. Tamu. The order. Amu. I order. Tamuruna. The order. Namu. We order. Excellent, brother. Sister Asya. Ya Amuru. He orders. Ya Amuruna. They order. Ta amur. You order. Amuru. I order. Ta amuruna. You all order. Na amuru. We order. Excellent, sister. And of course, it's here ta amuru. And uh, now, let's look at the Arabic conversation. And. Can I request any two brothers to come forward, please, and do this Arabic conversation? And it's so beautiful. Hal ya'muru bis salah. And salah is so important that each one of us should be. Okay, so I see Brother Faisal and Brother. Uh, let's give chance to Brother Faisal and Brother Ibrahim. Yes. Hal ya'muru bis salah. Is there anyone, sir, to answer? No, Ya'muru bi salah. No. 
Excellent, beautifully done. So, yeah, we have to order and we have to, you know, command for Salah. Uh, and now for making it, you know, the command form, the imperative form, you know, once again, you see, again, here it's going to be on the, on the Nasara pattern. What do you think? What should be the imperative of it? Of Amara Yamuru? You know, on the actually Nasara form, it should be like Un Unsur Umuru, right? But it's not going to be that. So that's why we call them Hamza Afal. Uh, they are like weak letters, but not, uh, you know, entire of it. There are a few changes only. So its imperative is formed like Mur, Amara, Yamuru. And when we remove the Ya, you know, Hamza is left. But it is not going to be uh, uh, the the way we call it as it will act like a weak letter and it will run away, but sometimes it will come back also. So that's why you see it is different than weak letters. Once they run away from the imperative uh, form, they do not come back. But this comes back when it comes in a joint form in the Quran. So when it will be wa muru wa mur. So Hamza comes back. Wa mur. It will not be mur. Wa only mur. No. So that's why it is. It is mur in the imperative form, and the Hamza also comes back when it is joined with other words. So mur order muru order. You all la ta mur don't order la ta muru don't order. You all. Okay, so who is coming forward for practice? Yes, Brother Kamran. More order. Muru, order you all. Latam, don't order. Latamuru, don't order you all. Excellent, mashallah. And uh, sister, sister Faiza, are you with me? Okay, okay, let's keep going. So, um, yes, Brother Augustine. Yes, sir, oh. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, sister, can you run from here? Uh, do you have the grammar presentation ready with you? Yeah, yeah, I have it. I have it. Okay. So, okay. okay. Just. Okay. Brother yes, and sir, I can do it. I can perfect. do it from here. Perfect. perfect. So, brothers and sisters, our uh, sister will be taking you forward from here. Uh, we have a Quran teacher's training program, and I'm working, uh, I'm acting as a trainer, master trainer today. So, our session is starting soon. Actually, I was in the session, I came back for my class. Um, and now, inshallah, Sister Faiza will be taking you forward from here. So, yes, Sister, please continue. I can share my, I can share my screen too, right? Yeah, please. I, let me stop sharing. And you can take forward from here. Yeah. We might take the questions tomorrow. Or next time, Sister will take you forward from it. All right. <clears throat> just give me a moment. I'll just share the slides here. So my slides are there, or oh, it's your screen? It's my screen, right? Yeah, I think it's your screen. Yeah, you can share it. Okay. <clears throat> So over so, to you and Allah of his brothers and sisters. Sister Faiza will be taking you forward from here. All right. Okay. 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 So we have 
everyone can <clears throat> view the screen right yes you can view the screen great just give me a moment we'll go to the same table Okay, this was the table we are doing, right? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So, brothers and sisters, hopefully my video and voice is clear, audio and video. You guys can just uh, update if there is any issue, okay? So, we'll go forward from here and uh, we'll revise the table for Amarvanahi, okay? More is ordered. Uh, my video. <clears throat> okay. okay. More is order. Moru is order you all. La ta amur. Don't order. La ta amuru. Don't order you all. So I want any any of you, any brother, any sister who wants to just uh, repeat the table. Okay, uh, brother Augustine, first you go ahead. Yeah, please. Move order. Yeah. Move. Order you all. Lata move. Do order. Lata move. Do order you all. Jazakallah. So we have another one, I think, uh, brother Ibrahim. You can also revise it. Okay. Uh, move order. Yeah. Move. Order you all. Yeah. Lata Amuru, don't order. Lata Amuru, don't order you all. Okay, perfect. And uh, so I have one more, I think, who raised the hand. There was third participant also. I think Sister Kafaya, please go ahead. Okay. More order. Yeah. Muru. Order you all. Lata Mur, don't yeah. order. Lata Muru, don't order you all. Jazakallah. So next we will go to see what is there. Okay, there is a spoken Arabic. So any any brother, any sister, two two participants, you can just uh, do the conversation. Yeah, uh, brother Sedu. One is brother Sedu. He can ask the question, and the other one is brother Ibrahim. You can answer, please. Yes. Go ahead, please. Mur bisalat. Amuru bisala. Amuru bisala. Amuru bisala. Yeah, as it is actually double hamza. Muru bisala. No, amuru bisala. No, amuru bisala. Okay. So more is singular. So he asked you. So you said I am Muru. When he asked you all, Muru Bissala. So we said we all. Okay. We all uh, order or request for Nama Sala. Okay. Thank you, Jazakallah, brothers. We'll go to the next slide. Okay. This is uh, any two, any two brothers or sisters can devise this one also. This is Nahi, the Sira for Nahi Na. Yeah, okay, Sister Kafayat and uh, Zovera. Two, two of you can question and answer. Yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. L let me take the question. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. La ta muru. La a muru. La ta muru. La na muru. Okay, na na muru. Perfect. So we will go to the next slide, okay? Uh, one second. La ta'amuru bil munkar. Who will answer me? La ta'amuru bil munkar. La ta'amuru bil munkar. Ta'amuru. La na'amuru bil munkar. Zakala. So alhamdulillah, we reached it here. We will fast. Uh, uh, we will be fast with this table. File, fail, maful. Okay, Amir, Amir, the one who orders. Mamur, the one who is ordered. 
and uh, Amr to order. Okay, so anyone who wants to revise this, please go ahead. Amr, yeah, file fail mafool. Okay, brother Shahid. Amir, Mamur, Amr. There is some issue from the kind of So now we will be doing, uh, we'll be continuing with this one, uh, the, the conversation, right? Everyone can view the screen now, please. Just confirm me once, right? Yes. We have the screen now, right? Okay, so let's go back to the same slide where we ended. Okay. So it is this one. So we did more order, moru order you all, la tamur don't order, and la tamuru don't order you all, right? So any we have revised this table also. So let's go ahead with the spoken we done this. Okay. La tamur, this one, this is the one where we stop, right? So la tamur, la amuru, la tamuru. La namuru. We'll take the spoken Arabic. Anyone wants to revise this one, please? Two of the brothers or sisters. Any two brothers and sisters can revise this, please. Two participants. Okay, sister Asia and brother Augustine. Right. Go ahead, please. Nata. Okay. Lata, Lata Amuru Bimunkari. Yeah. And Sister Asya, you can answer. Lata Amuru Bimunkari. Okay. And then Lata, both of you Lata. can continue. Lata Amuru Bimunkari. Lata Amuru Bimunkari. Perfect. Thank you, Jazakallah, brother and sister. So we will go. Alhamdulillah, we did this. Now we are on uh, the file, fail, and maf'ool part. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to revise it. Amir, the one who, oh, sorry, Amir, the one who orders. Ma'amur, the one who is being ordered. Amar, order. Yeah, two participants. Okay, sister Kafayat, you can revise this. Amir, the one who orders. Ma'amur. The one who is ordered um, to order. Jazakallah. I have one more, I think, uh, brother, uh, brother Augustine, who wants to answer, I think. Revise this one. Amir. Um, Amir. Yeah. The one who orders. Yeah. The one Amir. who is um, to order. Jazakallah, brother. We will move forward now. We have, okay, we have a spoken Arabic. So anyone, any two of you actually can question and answer, yeah. Any brother, okay, brother Sedu and sister Asya. Go ahead, please. Brother 
brother sedu can ask the question and the lady the sister amir alanta amir alanta amir al antum amiruna na nahnu amirun jazakallah so we are done with the spoken arabic for this one now we will go ahead with the okay there is a question hal hum akhizun okay so we have to answer so we have to answer uh any okay you can write in your chat boxes i think the answer hal hum akhizun what will be the answer okay sister as i have answers okay b mostly uh, participants they are saying b and it is actually the correct answer naam hum aakhir zone okay because it is home so it will remain home okay perfect so alhamdulillah we did this part also akhizun is from akhaza the verb akhaza okay so we have the complete table as we have just read now so we have complete table madi mudare and fe'le amr so i want one participant who can revise the full table complete table and the tpi of course so okay uh brother faisal nisar you can go ahead brother amara he ordered amaru they ordered amarta you ordered amartu i ordered Amar tum you all ordered. Amar na we ordered. Yeah. Amar she ordered. Ya muru she orders. Ya muru na they order. Ta muru you order. A muru I order. Ta muru na you all order. Na muru we order. Ta muru she orders. Mur order muru you order you all. La ta muru don't order. La ta muru don't order you all. Amir, the one who orders. Mahmoor, the one who is ordered. Am Amr to order. Order. Perfect. Just like our brother. Uh, whenever we are reading the female sila, you can add hiya amarat, hiya tamuru. So it will be easier for you to remember. So I have sister Kafayat who wants to revise the whole table. So you can go ahead, sister Kafayat. Yes. Amaru, he ordered. Amaru, they ordered. Amarta, you order. Amar to I order. Amartum, you all order. Amarna, we order. Iya Amarot, she order. Ya Muru, Ya Muru, he orders. Ya Muruna, they order. Ya Muru, you order. Amuru, I order. Ta Muruna, you all order. Namur, we order. Iya Ta Mur, she orders. Mur order. Muru order you all. La Ta Mur, don't order. La Ta Muru, don't order you all. Amir, the one who orders. Mamur, the one who is ordered. Amir. to order to order jazakallah so we will go forward you all can use tpi whenever you are revising the table alhamdulillah we have reached the stage we have complete the whole table for amara the verb you have studied now right so repeat the whole table as many times as you wish because this will make your grammar stronger okay now we have um the short table for the same amara so it's amara ya amaru mur amir ma'mur am so anyone wants to revise this any brother or sister please the short table for amara okay sister asia go ahead please amara he ordered ya amaru he orders mur order amir the one who orders ma'mur the one who is ordered amur to order jazaak allah sister we have a uh, okay 
um, similarly like we have read just now amir mamur amar okay so we have a verb akhaza so how it will be because akhaza is similar pattern as amara okay so the file fail and maful you can just uh, check this out amir mamur and amar and then you can answer this question which one you think that the noun keys of akhaza will be which one a b c d b b perfect the brother is saying ah is mahfuz ah is so this is the actually correct this is the correct answer actually okay ah is mahfuz ah is this is when you will write the table uh, similar to amara for akhaza in the workbooks you will uh, understand what uh, you know you will learn more like you will practice more so you will know it's amir mamur amar ah is mahfuz ah is okay so three verb keys now we are asking the three verb keys for amara previous question was noun keys now it is the verb key so what can be the answer anyone can answer right okay c yes it's c amara ya amur mur okay fail madi fail mudare and amar we have just read the tables now amara ya amur mur the short table right for amara so next we will go to okay we have we have already a poem which we uh, just uh, which makes it easier for us to remember the verb so allah will give wahaba it's a promise wahada in fact he said qala he will give more zada therefore pray to him da and for guidance hada right so this is how we remember the uh, verbs which we have just gone through in these lessons right so amara ya amur is a special case because hamza behaves like a weak letter but sometimes only um, hamza itself is not a weak letter but it can behave as i told you it has a tendency to behave as a weak letter so now we are towards the end of the session regret for the power disconnection power failure and unexpected power failure uh now okay regarding the homework you have the workbooks with you you guys can complete the homework simultaneously grammar 3a you can translate the order to pray like naam aur us wala okay so similarly you can do all this uh, naam answer yes in arabic so you have to naam naam aur bil maruf you can complete the table for akhaza akhaza means he took okay he took in the past tense like fail madi akhaza ya khudu akhizun makuzun like this you can complete file fail maku all the table similarly to amara this verb has similarity akhaza is similar to amara okay alhamdulillah we are towards the end of this session you already know like you have seven types of homework you can you can go through this like you can listen to tilawat you can revise you can you know have mp3s you can talk about the course with your friends you can you know discuss and you can use tpi always so it will be easier for you to remember the grammar part right we always recommend that you be a teacher the best way to learn is to teach download the ppts start teaching become a teacher and we know that the best amongst us is the one who learn and teaches the holy quran so let's make some duas so rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma allahumma inni as'aluka ilma nafi'an wa amalan mutaqabbalan wa rizqan tayyiban may allah help us to recite understand ponder implement propagate and memorize the quran subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum fi amana la from my side Sister Asia, I can see your hands raised. You have any questions?